Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on wherever you're connecting with us from. My name is Praise Adejube, and today, Saturday, 11th December 2021, our topic is Hacking to the Voice of Wisdom. Yeah. My name is Praise Adejube, and my special guest is Shei Jolayemi, one and only. <laughs> okay, it's interesting to know that wisdom has a voice. We'll dig deep. Let's pray first. Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you. Thank you we worship your holy name. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are going deep into your word. Yes, Inspire us today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And at the end of the day, the reward therein will eternally lost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Wisdom. Hacking to the voice of wisdom. I mean... The devotional is, is, is direct. Daddy is just giving it to us, saying, hacking. You should do nothing else than just to hack in to the voice of wisdom. What is wisdom? Well, when we look at how wisdom is described in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 to 29, which is the Bible text, we see that Proverbs is, uh, not Proverbs, wisdom is a person that has a voice. So perhaps the question, the question isn't what is wisdom, yes, it's who is wisdom. Exactly, and wisdom is our Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 1 from verse 20 says, Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open square. She cries out in the chief concourses, at the openings of the gates in the city. She speaks her word. Because she is used for, prov- uh, for wisdom here, it might look like, oh, that cannot be Jesus. He would say he. But then the um, analogy of calling wisdom a female is also to let you know that it can yield results. And you can easily... Um, relate with a woman who is by the roadside raising a voice compared to men you know doing that and what Jesus is doing for us is calling us he keeps calling on to us beckoning on us to come into the rest of God to come into the word of God to know him more and all of those kind of things and uh, Jesus being wisdom also shows that we need him because we need counsel we need wisdom to be able to deal with things in life, to excel, Whatever you know. circumstance at any time, at any I'm, point. I'm telling you, we need wisdom. And, you know, if we take it further, then we can say that having Jesus also covers for all of these things. Because it's not about your education. I mean, the Bible says that I have more insight than my teachers because I meditate on your precepts. And then the word, Jesus is word personified. So, I have Jesus, I have the word, then I have more insight, more wisdom than my teachers because what? I have Jesus. And so when we begin to look at, you know, the Bible saying in James chapter 1 that it, it does anyone lack wisdom, let him ask God. He saying you need the presence of Jesus in your life, ask God, right? And that is still in line with the scripture that says that um, no one comes to me except the Father draws him. So Jesus is saying the Father is the one who draws you to, to me, me yes. the same way i'm calling yes. but then there's still the god factor the jesus factor in all of this so when our, our topic today is saying hacking to the voice of Stop. wisdom Stop. it's saying jesus is talking jesus is calling to you are you listening are you paying attention because sometimes we are just here as well we stay so much around the world so much around the church that we are used to the word we seem to be used to this jesus everybody's calling but are you actually happening to the voice of jesus and that, that's a question i think everyone should be thinking about today are you happening to the voice of jesus i mean he is body bearer that he went yeah. on to talk about the fact that the body of sin is unbearable yes i mean <laughs> when you look at that, you, you see that what Jesus is trying to call us out of, what is calling us to, is to save us from all of that pressure and all of that mm. stress. You know, Ephesians 3.20 says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we can ask you imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. So he's calling us into that power. 
is calling us to a life of righteousness, a life devoid of sin. He says, you know, he, first Peter uh, 2, 9, he, who has called us out of darkness, darkness into his marvelous light. And, and that's why we should actually hearken. Because you need to know what God is calling you into. You need to know what mm. is calling you out of. Yes. You know, for some of us, it's calling us into maybe ministry, not necessarily pulpit ministry, because when people hear ministry now, they expect to collect the mic from your pastor and begin to preach. Now, that's not what it's about, but serving the Lord, helping and contributing to fulfilling the kingdom agenda, yes. adding to the great commission, that's ministry. The Bible says that God has committed unto all of us the ministry of reconciliation. So Jesus is perpetually calling us into that ministry. Look, you're wasting time. We're at the end time. Come, and come, 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 come. But the issue is, are we really hearing? Hmm. Are we really hearing? He's calling you out of something. He's calling you into, into something. something. And yeah. he's calling continually and continuously. Absolutely. All you have to do is hack in and give your ears Absolutely. that he mentioned and went on to say we should pray about uh god giving us listening ears yeah. to hear his counsel yeah. and a willing heart to obey yeah. well, that's just a component of two yeah. listening here to hear yeah. and an obedient heart to do to 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 be the one to apply to apply. I mean. yeah and so, i mentioned earlier that um many of us are just used to this word I mean, you're used to word of prophecy, you're used to word of knowledge. Uh, you come for all the service and uh, Daddy Gio says, oh, there's someone here, God says, and you're just like, oh, yeah, I mean, pff, that's normal. Oh, yeah, oh. That, that's with you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the, the power of the word is right where you are, but you, you're not stepping into it. And that's where the willingness comes from. So listening is, 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 not, is beyond, listening is beyond hearing. You mm. can hear something and not be not listening. listening. And that's why hacken is at the level of listening, paying attention, Rapid giving attention. it, exactly, giving it your attention. And surely you hear it all. Because you also don't want to hear the beginning part of the structure. I know you're the end. And then you run off and you're like, okay, so what's next? And you don't know. <laughs> but definitely, we still have to come back. That's yes, the solution yeah, yeah, to yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. The solution is to come back and listen much more. So yeah, we, we really should pray that. That God should give us listening ears to hear and willing hearts to obey. Because sometimes we hear things and we feel like ah, this is not going well. It's not going with the <laughs> with the international trip I yeah, plan to yeah, take, yeah, yeah. or the, the kind of lifestyle or, I or want it, to live. Or it's not God that's speaking. You me. know, <laughs> because it doesn't sound like what we want. Yes. But when we have a willing heart to obey God, then the Bible says in Isaiah one verse nineteen twenty, I mean, be willing and obedient. You will eat the good of the land, and that is where we need to really. I pray that God will help us to hack into the voice of wisdom, hack into his words, hack into his calling, so that we will be where he wants us to be for time. Wow. So yeah. just uh, for someone maybe joining us from Taiwan or Port Harcourt, Nigeria, anyone join us anywhere, and is and of the inclination and, ask, and has the question in his heart, how do I hack in? Mm. What, just what, what short word would you like to do? Person? Well, the, the short word is... Pay attention. If something is important to you, you will pay attention. Give it time. Give prayer time. Give God's word time. Don't wave it aside. Hear it. Hear it again and again and apply it to your everyday life. Um, could you just share a word of prayer? Just say a word of prayer as we close. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to us. We pray, Lord, that you help us to listen diligently, to hack in diligently to the voice of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. All that you're calling us into, all that you're calling us out of, help us to be willing to obey you even as you call us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. Thank you, Lord. For we prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We would love to see you tomorrow. God bless you. Amen. God bless you.